Warning, this podcast contains an ogre. Yeah, this spoilers. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the SC Not TV podcast for Gotham Season 1, Episode 19, Beasts of Prey. I am your host, Dom. With me, my co-host, my very pensive co-host, Omikins. Hi. She was. She, she was like, as soon as it started, she, she was very pensive. Uh, my coffee connoisseur, or my tea connoisseur, Cleo. In my, I have now dubbed this my daredevil cup. Your daredevil cup. And, uh, John, your heterosexual lover. (laughs) (coughs) Fuck you. I like how I was not phased by that at all. And Nikki almost (laughs) shit all over her computer. (sighs) Good, good job, John. Good job. So after what feels like forever, more than forever, we are back. Mm. And we hate Barbara just as much. Even though she wasn't in the episode. That's not that has not changed. I you, you know what? I forgot completely about that character until you freaking mentioned her. You're welcome. So, uh-huh. what did you guys think of this episode? It was it's, good. Oops. But any enthusiasm or momentum I feel I had for the show is gone. I don't know where it went. Yeah, that mm. break was way too freaking long. It was. Yeah. I wasn't waiting for this. It was just, oh, it's on. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, oh, I have to watch Gotham today. We're doing a show. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. I've been waiting for it. Like, I've been watching my DVR every week. I'm like, oh, yeah, Gotham's on this week. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, wait, Gotham. No. Fuck. Gotham. (laughs) I I swear I did it three weeks in a row. I was like, it's coming back this week. It's like, no, it's, it's not. Oh, it's next week then. So, yeah. I could have just, like... Googled the return date and saved myself a lot of roller coaster, but yes, <laughs> yeah. I but can say it... there was one part where I was legit like excited and I kind of jumped in my chair. Is when I saw Milo, the ogre, our you know yep. Peter Petrelli. Peter Petrelli. Yeah, um, me and Jumbo with oh Peter Petrelli. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Huh. <laughs> he was I mean, good. I mean, he legitimately freaked me out, man. He did, he's, and he was good. awesome. I actually watched a little interview with him uh, about the role of the ogre, in which he stated that uh, he just played himself. It, that's bullcrap. He's such what? a nice guy. No, that, that's no. the thing. He, he The ogre was a very charismatic guy. He when he himself. wasn't being a psycho! Right. He said he, that, you know, with, without the... Uh, the uh, serial killer tendencies he played himself. Okay. That okay. that's that's a little bit more believable <laughs> now because you're like he just played himself I'm like he's a psycho killer. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Right. He's just never been caught. He's that good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. He's better than he's Dexter. He's actor on the side. So <laughs> what do you guys think of uh the actual character the ogre? He's intriguing actually. Interesting. I thought it was very, very weird the way they handled showing him mm-hmm. because it's we're just seeing his stuff. It's like not connected to Gordon. The only way it's connected to Gordon is that's the guy he's chasing. Yeah. yeah. This isn't knowledge Gordon has. This isn't any of that stuff. So it's like seeing that is kind of like, why are we being shown this? Yeah. I have a feeling, I mean... It's an original character for this series, right? Kind of like, no? No, the ogre was, he's actually a pretty big villain in the comics. Uh, He was never in any of the Batman movies, but in in the Batman comics, uh, he was a genetically altered man uh, who was used in an experiment. So that's clearly not the route that they're going for here. No. No. I mean, that's then. This is an origin story, right? That's true, too. He could be altered later. I mean, right, people get good. genetically altered all the time. Like, look at Spider-Man. Come on. <laughs> that is true. As there was everyone Spider-Man. A rocky so raccoon. He used to just be a raccoon. Once was man, now is Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Science achieved. 
So the ogre is going to be another overarching villain that is going to span a couple episodes. I think they did a good job setting him up. Um, mm -hmm. I think the the scenes that they showed were very necessary. They were a little awkward in the way they were presented. Um, but oh, I I hundred percent agree they were necessary. Yeah. I just feel like there's no justification for why we're seeing it. Yeah, you know, it's not like Gordon's figuring things out. It's just yeah, like I said, it's just why awkward the way it was this? presented. Uh. So before the, the girl that Gordon is following in this particular case, we, we see that there were 12 victims before. Um, and that's just victims that he's had a, like a love affair for. So he, he, yeah. he wants this unconditional love, but he himself does not know what unconditional love is. So it, it's kind of this weird dynamic well, you, that he has with himself. You can't chain up a person and expect them to give you unconditional love while you're slamming your fists on the table. I mean, that's I mean, not going to happen. Unless we're covering Fifty Shades of Grey, you are correct. But I think the point she's making is Fifty Shades of Grey is consent. This is not consent. This is, <laughs> yes. I have chained you to my chair, and you will cook me the best lamb I've ever eaten. Love me! <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, that's exactly. Thank you. Okay, well, I mean... I, I, hmm. I gotta I mean, take notes. I don't have a pen. I, I gotta take notes. This this is important information. What? You, you need to know what consent is? <laughs> <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my god. We have to have a long talk. Where am I? <laughs> Who are you people? I don't have a pen. <laughs> Let alone here, I have no. a computer with a notepad open that I could just type. Oh, thanks. Here you go. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Gordon ends up getting tricked into uh, in investigating this guy. Yes. Uh, yeah. Only to find out later that the ogre decides to go after whoever was investigating them by taking out all their loved ones. So there are clearly more victims than the 12 yeah. that he had yeah. in his case. Mm -hmm. There's more, but they can only connect the 12 because that's right. the only time he leaves a token or, you know, a link so right. that they can right. say that that is his job. Right, so Leslie goes missing. Does she? G Gordon. Maybe she just didn't answer her phone. Yeah, well, Gordon, she's presumably missing. Gordon, uh, Gordon can't get a hold of her. So. It's the commissioner's fault. He's a dick. He is a dick. Commissioner Derp. Commish. Commish. So, uh, waiting for them to say it. Are you worried for, for Leslie? You can say I'm it. worried for her in the sense that I don't want her to, her to be damseled. Yeah, you know? because she's, uh, so far, she's been, kind of been a damseled. strong, capable character. Yeah. And to get kidnapped to damseled is like, oh, cool, we're, we're doing this, I guess. Because, like, That's, in, in the yeah. case of Fish, we know we we've seen fish in action, and we knew even her being damsel wasn't gonna be damsel. You know, yeah, she's gonna save you know, herself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's, I, don't, she's, I don't have the same amount of confidence for. She's she partially damsel. She's she's been partially damsel. Fish? No, uh, uh Leslie? Leslie. Oh, she's just partially. And okay. yeah, I don't want to see her go in that that direction either, because um, she's she's been pretty strong for the most part. Uh, yeah. The one that I'm concerned for is Barbara. You're concerned for Barbara. Why are you? I am concerned for Barbara. I don't want anything bad to happen to Barbara because then I have nobody to hate. Sure, you <laughs> can just pick a new person to hate. I do it all the time. <laughs> it really does. It's quite fascinating. It's. <laughs> She's, a, she's just a little Canadian ball of anger. <laughs> you are. Aren't you never. You didn't think you ever see one, but. <laughs> I I I feel like uh, I feel like Ogre's gonna go after Barbara. I don't think. See, I think that's in what his I'm research, he's not gonna get the memo that like Barbara's old news, and he's gonna pull up. Oh look, this is Bar Barbara and go after Gordon. Barbara. Gordon. But yeah. I think I think I mentioned this somewhere in the past, but. If, because there's an overwhelming hatred for the character of Barbara out there. Mm -hmm. so oh, wait, I think it's I, not just us? No, it's not just no. us. I think that I've said 
if the way we can get away with having Batgirl down the line be named Barbara is if Barbara is somehow tragically killed and then out of like, oh, I'm sorry that this happened to a person I used to love, names I... his daughter Barbara. I thought that that... Well... Back... I thought Batgirl was... I, don't... I didn't think that this Barbara was Batgirl. No, no, she's no, not. No, it's not. No. It's not. It'd be a tribute well, naming. It's their niece. Oh, sometimes his daughter. It's sometimes their daughter, sometimes their niece is, yeah. is Batgirl, who then becomes Oracle after she gets paralyzed. Spoiler. Paralyzed. Paralyzed. Yeah, if you played the Arkham game, she's Oracle, so there's no spoilers. That's true. I'm sorry. <laughs> and yeah. if you've read any of the lengthy, I'm pretty sure the current uh, uh, DC comic lines, uh, she's Oracle. No, she's not. She's you a Batgirl have? comic. No, that's well, I mean, like some of the main, main, bigger storylines. Not in the new Fifty Two. She's Barbara. Right. They, I she's forget the Barbara. new Fifty Two is the current yeah. one. Yeah. Well, the one before but, New Fifty Two, she's Oracle. But so this is the thing. Anyway, getting back to this nonsense of Leslie or Barbara, who's going to get stabbed in the mouth? I could see it. Like they, they kind of are leading us to believe it's going to be Leslie. So that's why I'm thinking it's probably not going to be Leslie. Because yeah, that I would think, be like a little too easy. The switch. Yeah, I think they might switch us because they, you know, they showed in the previous like, oh, she got surprised from behind. It, it, Hold on. Probably it was Jim, just like, hey, you okay? <laughs> hey, you on the phone? Hold on, guys. She Plot twist. Ogre kidnaps Barbara, but Barbara's so crazy that they fall unconditionally in love with each other. Happy ending. <laughs> Happy I'd ending. I would love it. Wow. Beautiful. And then Barbara I becomes would... Harley Quinn. Or she drives him so fucking no, crazy. No, too awesome. I know, she I had to ruin so it for you, Cleo. Crazy. I had to ruin it. I can't let you have rainbows and unicorns. No. <laughs> <laughs> she just drives him so nuts, he kills himself. No. That, that could... I have my unicorn. Is that rainbow wow. bright? I don't you know guys just happen to have unicorns was, on hand? Was, <laughs> was, was that rainbow bright? That was rainbow, rainbow. Rainbow Dash. Um, uh, Rainbow Dash. See, I don't I... know the ponies. I'm it was the, the season finale for Walking Dead, John. Don't you remember I had the... No, I... no, no. It wasn't Walking Dead. No. When did I, I bring wasn't... the unicorn out? Oh, it was Once Upon a Time. If... The worst part is... There. The worst part is I have a Rainbow Bright. Rainbow Dash. What I have one of... Whatever his name is. I have him up in my room. If I knew we were going to have a unicorn convention, I would have brought him. <laughs> Well, if you want to get technical, Rainbow Dash is just a pony with wings, not a unicorn. If only I wore my unicorn Kigurumi today. The chat, I want a unicorn Kigurumi. I don't actually have one of those. So, I know, because uh, if you did, I'd be wearing it. I know. <laughs> I think, um, like, I don't know, the, the whole police office is, is clearly still corrupt. I, it goes beyond just what uh, Commissioner Loeb ha has, like, yeah, he's kind of the driving force in it, but he's still got, like, power over everybody, and, and yeah. we saw that one officer go up to Gordon, that's that's how he got tricked into investigating this case in the first place. I um, mean, Gordon might have all those, does, does he have all those files now? They're, like, they're released and, you no, know... No, he only got his... He only got Harvey's. Harvey's. Okay, well then, Loeb still has all of everybody else's files. Yeah, he so still he has pull on absolutely anybody he wants yeah yeah i mean gordon did go out and like basically rip the commissioner a new one right in the middle of the the mm -hmm. yeah, yeah that was he awesome. did not give a shit <laughs> we, <laughs> which we i was did. totally down for yeah gordon's been in this place lately where he's just like i don't give a shit and i don't care if you know that i don't give a shit it's kind of nice yeah yeah it's, it's actually nice. really nice but I think he's getting a big head, and I think it's. It he totally back. is. He that. Ah. Uh, well, I think this might teach him a lesson about that because you know he could feasibly lose someone that he cares or cared yeah. about. So that'll probably deflate him quite a bit. Mm-hmm. If yeah. someone's put in danger. Uh, Riddler was actually pretty. Well done this oh. episode. I had no gripes with him. I saw him and I rolled my eyes immediately, and then you do I do that every judgment. time. Yep. Reserve judgment. He. I think they're handling him much, much better in the second half of this uh, season oh. here. 
they heard our just cries. Come up and give them a thing. Yeah. Did he say anything? He um, did. Um, he, would somebody mention? Was it Gordon mentioned something? And he goes, "Oh, is that a riddle?" Harvey. Harvey. He goes, "Is that a riddle?" And Harvey was like, "No, no." And it was Go still, do your job. like, it was still, like, because, yeah, we know that the, the character, the Riddler, Edward Nigma, is into puzzles. So that is a completely, like, mm-hmm. legit thing. That, like, that's something I could see him saying. Yeah. And um, then when there was the missing piece of evidence or whatever, like, he's like, oh, it's a missing p- piece of the puzzle. I'll figure it out. So he still made, like, a, a puzzle riddle kind of reference. and mm-hmm. But it was tasteful. Yeah. Yeah. And he actually was, he did his job, and he did good. Yeah. So, proud of him for that. Yeah, he's like, I found a couple that they didn't find before. And he's like, good man. boy. <laughs> yeah, I was I was actually really, uh, really happy with that. Um, but while this case was, I guess it was just before the case was going on, Gordon still had the time to go talk to Bruce. And uh, yeah. try to get some insight onto what happened with Alfred. And... Uh, I was like, I know you're lying. Stop protecting him. And Bruce is like, no, I'm not lying. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not lying. I the just room, this red too thick. I can't look you in the eyes. But, the no, room I'm not is lying. You ass. Yeah. It's a little ridiculous, but then uh, th- that leads him and Selena to go hunting on their own mm-hmm. to try to find uh, Mr. Payne. <sighs> I'm kind of glad that, you know, she hasn't quite given up on Bruce yet. Yeah. So, at least there's that. Kind of teaching him the wrong thing to do, but I'm glad she's there for him. Well, Well, I don't think that it's, that that was a teaching moment. Yeah. I think that was a, (laughs) clearly there's a difference between their decision making. Well, I I don't mean by teaching. I just mean like her, like her do. Rubbing off. Basically, Yeah. I mean, she did push a guy out the window. He oh, was hesitating, and he wasn't going to do it, but she did it anyways. He was basically. thinking about it. He well, was, no, it was, he was He was ready. It, he was doing it. It was, okay, if he gets away, we could get killed. So Selena was just like, uh, yes, I don't want to die. Fuck you. Yeah, Funk. Selena knew, but, I mean, still, like, Bruce's hesitation to her leading to actually doing it, actually, you know, there's gonna be some repercussions for him later he's gonna have to work through that yeah but i also i also don't think that it's gonna rub off on bruce i think they will have a discussion about it disagree <laughs> and maybe it's separate where he gets, for some time maybe it's where batman gets his idea of, of hanging people off the sides of buildings i was gonna say because she was clever enough to just drop it on the ledge yeah i mean it could be they they didn't really get any good answers out of him uh they just they um, know that he's answering to somebody, and he threatened to tell that person. So he, he, he gave them names. Name the direction. Did he, he give? Gave, and he gave the name of a woman and a man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And, and he never Bruce connected them to Wayne Enterprises, though. Have Correct. To, I'm to, sure with some research, Bruce being the little detective that he is. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll find out, but um. Yeah, so Reggie gets pushed out the window, and this this kind of uh, starts the birth of Catwoman. This is like her first major, like, killing event. She ripped a man's eyes out. Yeah, she's. I mean, <laughs> she's no stranger to violence. That's for sure. She's. She's heard she ever killed her. anyone before. No. Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, we we don't know that for sure. We and don't know that. We also don't know if this guy's actually dead. Yeah, he could have just. Show. He could have fell into back. a dumpster with like nice squishy. Well, no, they, they showed blood. him. No, they showed him, but oh, okay. I don't know if he's dead. I missed God him. Knows, God knows if he's dead or not. Yeah, no, he was mm. just laying down, face first, taking a pavement nap. Yeah. No, it wasn't the back. fall that got him. It was the. I mean, stop. you know, he he probably hadn't taken his medicine for a while, so. <laughs> you mean his heroin? <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure he's done. She's yeah, like, oh, close. honey, that's not the kind of shooting gallery they mean. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we're going to see some struggle with, with Catwoman, like, having losing sleep over this? Or, like, being oh, no. upset over I... this? Or is she just the, the cold-blooded killer to, like, kill some guy and forget all about it? It's no. it's not even cold-blooded. It's just that, like, she's one to serve her own self-interest. And, like, yeah. her, her not getting murdered trumped this guy's life. 
in her eyes. I don't I don't think she's I think Bruce is gonna struggle with it, but I don't know if Yeah. I mean, all right, Selena will probably struggle with it, but not in a way that she'd like to admit to. Mm. Yeah, and I think she's you know? really good at taking those things she doesn't exactly know how to feel about and, and turning it into something in the else. Stuffing it down and turning it into something else. Like yeah, with right. her parents being spy jugglers or whatever. <laughs> Acrobatics. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? Um no, I, I I can blame this on Barbara because she's been living with Barbara and Barbara's toxic. It's I forgot that they were <gasps> living together. <laughs> I forgot they were living together. Yeah, unfortunately. Totally forgot all about that. That happened. You know, young woman needs a role model. <laughs> not, not that kind of role model. Who's Maybe drunk at fucking I mean, in the morning. I mean, you're right. Barbara does need a role model. She needs to look up to <laughs> Selena. So. Yes, correct. So the other major thing that happened here is is the the whole scenes and everything involving fish, and uh, we we get to see this this big escape plan kind of unfold. And you know, she first she like scouts it out. She's looking out the window. She uh, uh, breaks the lock off. She goes outside, and she's like a boat, helicopter. She's like just just scouting everything out. She's getting a feel for what's around. It's very, very clever from Fish. Then she gets caught in the the dollmaker's office, Doctor Dollmaker, um, mm. getting the keys to the boat, or what we believe is the boat. And then. Uh, She's she's talking to her buddy, I forget his name, down in the cell. And she's like, you know, I'll... Kelly, I'll... I think his name is. Yeah. Kelly. Kelly, maybe. Yeah, I think his name's Kelly. Yeah. Not Butch. No, no not Butch. Not Butch. Not butch. And, uh... <laughs> Hashtag not my Butch. Can we just call him Not Butch from now on? <laughs> yes. Not Butch. Okay. Not Butch. So, Not Butch. And... <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm gonna get you guys out of here. If we're, we're gonna, we're gonna make an escape or whatever. Then we see her talking to the the, the thugs over in the corner, the the heavy hitters, and she's like, all right, this is what's gonna go down. Those other people are too weak. Screw them. You you're the guys I need in case shit goes down. I need somebody who knows knows how to fight. Somebody who's not afraid to kill someone. And uh, I was like, what the fuck are you doing, fish? I was like, you can't betray them like that. <laughs> I, I was it all was upset so for a moment. Up. She pulled the wool over my eyes. Until her escape <sighs> plan, the actual escape plan with the diversion, was, a, as it was unfolding, I realized what was going on. But yeah, but the setup fooled me. So when I it's see like, them Don't all... Don't worry, I broke the lock. Did you? <laughs> yeah, I didn't, expect, I didn't expect the door to be locked. I thought she unlocked it. Uh... But I, I assume that the keys were not going to be the right keys or, you know, they were going to go get on the boat and then, like, they were going to chase after them or something like that. And uh, then Fish was going to get in the way in the helicopter. That, I never thought for one second Fish was not going to get away in the helicopter. So. Oh, though I knew as soon as she didn't go with them, I'm like, oh, yeah, they're going to take well, bullets for her. They're dead. <laughs> they're dead. But did you expect uh, Dr. Dahlmacher to be downstairs waiting for her. No, no. I'm not. No. So, that was that a little was crazy, and then the, you know, the, the beat down. Yeah, I, although it was a little moot, him being there. Yeah, is, he is, got kicked is the he, shit out of. Is he dead? No, no she said just no. leave him. Yeah, they just beat on him a little bit and left him. They hurt him a lot. <laughs> yeah. He might need new body parts. He might. He'll have to operate on himself. Yes. We know he, he has assistance for that. Don't worry yeah. about it. He has the means. But so, then, uh, as Fish gets away in the helicopter, which she just conveniently knew how to fly, um, <sighs> she gets shot with a sniper rifle. Yeah. Yeah, that was intense. Yeah. And we all know that uh, Miss Smith is not carrying on into next season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So does this spell the end for Fish Mooney? Is this how she's going out? Hope not. I don't know. 
you gonna bleed out and crash this... land a helicopter into Gotham? I don't know. I mean, it it could be that she's just gone, and maybe I mean maybe the doll maker will find her again and then transmute her into a new body because he was very heavily saying like I could make you a completely different person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's as if we changed actors. <laughs> so watch. <laughs> that's that's probably their plan. Yeah. But um is there any significance to the hunter that shot her? Like it, is he He seems like he, someone. We were He does. We were that's talking why about that Chrissy and I. He that's seems like, like asking. He seems like he? the dude in the Jurassic Park movie, Muldoon. Yes. That's who he seems <laughs> like. Right. He's got He's clearly among the the other guys with him. He clearly has a look like, they made him look that way on purpose. His voice has also been dubbed over in post, leading it to be, like, weirdly deeper than it should be. Almost doesn't line up with his face. Yeah. So there's got to be something to his character. Either that or they just really messed up the sound that day and had to <laughs> dub over. But I mean, I all the, the scenes that we did see with him were exterior, so... Yeah. Usually they overdub exterior uh, scenes anyway, yeah. so it may have just been a bad post. Maybe. I don't know. So. Let's hope it's something good and not mm -hmm. just shitty editing. Yeah, I'm hoping he means something more than just some guy that shot Fish Mooney. Yeah. Yeah, I... I don't know. I, there, there, I looked. As I dug through the annals of the internet, and I could not find anything um, involving him in the comics, any relation whatsoever, so it seems as if he is a new original character, which if we see more of him, I'd, I'm not against that, I'd like to see it, and and we see how original characters like Fish Mooney have turned out, so he may um, come to be a bigger threat later. Yeah. But uh, He's clearly Dr. Dahlmacher's uh, like, right-hand man for security, anyway. Um, he's probably going to be the one to find Dahlmacher. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. So, because... we'll see how that plays out, and since Dahlmacher is not really physical himself, and we know he hires people, especially overseas and stuff, to do things, um, we'll probably see him, if not that uh, big, burly black marine that the kidnapped fish in the first place. Tiger dude. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I really want to see more of him, and I'm still really pissed that we didn't get to see whatever cat fight that turned into. Yeah. Yeah, really. Yeah, so uh, they're, they're going to go after fish. They're not going to leave her alone. And I, th I think it's, it's going to spell the end for her one way or the other, um, be it transfer her to another body to keep the character around for the show. Um, or just I could see that happening. Murderer. Yeah, I can see that happening. <laughs> That sounds like the that's most what, likely of cases. That's what Dalmacher wanted to do with her. Mm -hmm. Take her apart. And he it. said it so much. And, you know, we know that Jada Pinkett Smith is not coming back. So it's just like, okay, well, now like we know. There's no way that can happen. There's no way it's not going to happen. Yeah. Because they're not going to lose a kill new... off fish. They did such a good job of setting her up. Right. And she's, there, she's like their flagship, you know, made up character. So they kind of need her around yeah. in some form or another. I mean, Nikki's all too familiar, another show that we cover, um, the originals, where they replace characters with other actors all the time in a way that it makes sense. Yeah. So do you, do you feel like Jada's going to be easily replaced? Uh, or is this going to be something that uh, it's not going to fly too well? Oh, no. I honestly I don't know because you know the way other shows do it, the other show the, the other originals show. The, the other show the originals um the way they do it is in such a way where it it's smoothly done mm -hmm. this seems a little ragged it seems pushed so I don't know how it's going to turn out I guess it's going to depend on the actress that they get yeah I mean, Fish is also, she's kind of like the, the big villain right now. You know, like, um, uh, Falcone and Maroney, they're just like, 
They've been quiet. Yeah, they're there, but they're fish seems bigger than them, you know. And and penguin. Yeah, he's he's kind of like the the likable antagonist, right? So we need like a a villain. Is he though? He's not that likable. He's no. I, I enjoy he's every single time he's on screen. I want to see more I... of him. I'm not talking uh, yes, about for no, the characters I on the show. Like I'm talking about more. as viewers. But I do not like the character. I mean, I do not like. Okay, I like the character because it's a good character. But like, I don't uh, yeah. like him. But, I want to root for him. Like fish, I'm rooting for. I'm like, I want you to live. You're pretty badass. Right. Well, yeah. that's. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like, she's not a she's not a big villain in any sense. She but seems she, bigger than the other she ones. See, they're making her out to be bigger because I'm pretty sure her change is going to be dramatic at the end of the season. They're yeah. building her up for that. So, Whereas Penguin, the character is great. The way that they're, you know, m- the scenes that they've put him in lately just kind of seems useless. Why is it even happening? Like, he even well, said it. Now he's making, I mean, he's, he's making moves on Maroney now. So. Yeah, he's, he's trying to. He's not ready for the move yet, but he's making preparations for a move against Maroney. Mm-hmm. That's something. Well, the fish... The character somehow does not carry over into next season. Who's gonna step up and be like the the big villain that we follow? Is it gonna be Penguin? I don't. It depends on. You realize there are so many DC villains that they could bring in. They could, but they have the Penguin, and I feel like we're more invested in Fish than we are in Penguin. Oh God, yeah. So. Uh, who's gonna invest all our time? That's that's yeah, because they they've been bringing villains and they they still haven't introduced Doctor Victor Freeze yet. They, you know, they it toyed could be around the Riddler. with. <laughs> he, he, we haven't seen him go dark side yet, though. But he could start. How many I guess. episodes now? We have six episodes left. We no, not six. We have a few. It could happen. We have three. A lot can happen in three episodes. Yeah. I don't know. We shall see. Mm-hmm. I just I, I hope something tasteful is done with fish. Yeah. So that it's not like we're all just pissed at the last episode, like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. You know. Well, it's definitely going back for season two, which we knew. Oh my god, from. they're gonna transfer into Barbara's body. It's gonna be amazing. I was thinking about that, but I didn't say it because it was such a ridiculous idea. I didn't even want to <laughs> speak up my the mouth. is working for Dollmacher. I also don't think that yeah. actress can pull off fish. I'm sorry. No, she can't even pull no. off Barbara. She, Barbara I'm can't pretty pull sure off she Barbara. can't even pull no. off her own pants. Okay, I'm gonna. I will be fair to that actress. Barbara's not written. <laughs> this is true. They didn't write her. She's they not didn't written. write her. Yeah, they did a horrible job with portraying Barbara in words. <laughs> not, not even just, yes. Yeah, I mean, they could have done so much more with their relationship and... and I don't know. It, 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 she was so much better in the comics and the TV shows and everything. Like, just... I, uh. I mean, I'm not disappointed with how their relationship has gone. It's actually kind of interesting that she's... She's hating on him, even though she's the one who caused the problems, and that now Gordon's in a better place with Leslie, but... Yes, but... There's no and I, could, I, would, I would agree with you if she was written in a way that made sense, but the reason she went off, the reason she did her the things she did don't make any sense, so I can't no. enjoy it. I right. just can't. But at the same token, I don't know um, Aaron Richards, who plays Barbara. I don't know her from anything else. I know, that's um, why I was saying to be fair to her, because I don't, you know... I know you she was in... the caliber of an actress by one badly written character. Oh, I know shit, she, I just ruined it. I know she was in the UK version of Being Human. <sighs> she but, ruined. But I did not watch it. She's in the I UK found... version of Being Human? Yes. Yeah, she is. I found something. Spoilers? Oh, but I'm not going to say it, because it's way spoilers. Oh, <laughs> tell me on. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about we'll it. Tell you, we'll I'll... talk about it in a minute. We'll talk about it in a minute. Yeah. We'll, we'll do it on the show, but... But we'll save it for the the end end. So, so yeah, if you guys yeah. want to know what he just found, stay for after the synopsis for the episode. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, she was in uh, three episodes of Being Human. Uh, she played the character Nancy Reed, the UK version. Um, she was in uh, uh, TV series Breaking In, 
uh, for 13 episodes, and that's the biggest role that she's ever had before Gotham. Yeah. So everything else that she's she's been in, she's been in a couple short films, um, and whatever. So uh, Breaking In has, has been her biggest role outside of Gotham, and she's been in 22 episodes of Gotham. Or the 22 episode season, she hasn't been in every episode, so... Um, no. I can't say 100% uh, for sure that it's not the actress. I can't say that for a fact. Yeah. Um, I don't think she's a bad actress. I want to give her the benefit of the doubt because the character is not written the best. <laughs> and it just seems like, you know, my four-year-old cousin could do better. And of writing a story for the character, whatever. But... I feel like there's a necessity for Barbara other than our hatred. And <laughs> I think it's going to unfold. And hopefully it goes in the direction of the ogre. And as much as you guys are going to hate it, if Barbara is taken by the ogre, it's going to do something to Gordon. And I want them to fall madly in love. I think that would be amazing. So they're both insane. You want, you want the ogre and Gordon to fall madly Look. in love? No. <laughs> Well, Ogre and Barbara. <laughs> well. Listen. Well. <laughs> I want the Ogre and Gordon to fall in love and just make nice, cool butt sex. Hashtag butt sex. The, the only shitty thing about all this, besides the butt sex, is... Um, <laughs> because that's where your poop comes you're from. You're welcome. Fudge machine. Um, the fudge thank machine. you. You explained my joke. Um, <laughs> we kind of know, like, Gordon's probably going to end up with Barbara because that's what happens in Batman. Yeah. So things between him and Leslie aren't going to work out. <laughs> we don't know that, though. They may change it up. Yeah, they, I, I don't think it's going to change. I'm placing my bet that they're not. I'm going <laughs> that's to That's what I'm saying. Like, I think I said, John, I think I said this. If, if it becomes, like, a, I don't know. I, I might stop watching the show. It... <laughs> Honestly, I'm at a point where I'm like, if something dumb happens, I'm out. I can't. They, I mean, they might do something where, you know, they keep Leslie around. And the reason why little Barbara comes into play is because this Barbara now has a really traumatic death. And it really affects Gordon in that way. So that he rem he's always reminded. That, I so the that. only relationships he seeks out are women named Barbara. No. <laughs> No, or, I mean, because Doctor Tompkins also has a role later in ba in the Batman series. She's yeah. like, I, she kind of helps. She works with Bruce. As, Leslie, as an adult. Leslie, and Gordon are not going to end up together. Just no. accept that and move on. They're not. As much as you want it to happen, it's not going. They're to. not going to. They're not. So you think he's going to get back together with Barbara? Yeah. yeah. Either that, or or with she's going to die. Barbara, <laughs> another Barbara, <laughs> who sucks less. Yeah. Streisand? Maybe a stri maybe she yeah, grab a Streisand. Barbara She's Streisand does better. suck much less than Barbara Keaton. Much, much less, but still sucks. <laughs> hey! I like Barbara Streisand. She's too proud of herself. Anyway, next <laughs> episode <laughs> is called Under the Knife. Dun dun dun. Oh, uh, well. Well. <laughs> well. All the speculating we did about fish. Uh, not necessarily. Don oh, Walker right. could, could be, be could be under Sorry. the knife himself. Um, Gordon and Bullock continue to investigate the ogre, who begins to make his move on someone close to Gordon. Barbara. Meanwhile, Bruce and Selina team up to expose a corrupt Wayne Enterprises employee. Enigma comes to Chris Kristen Kringle's defense. He comes to Christian Mingle's defense. <laughs> he comes to Christian Bale's defense. You're going da 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 like this in the Stewart's background. She, he comes to Siskel and Ebert's defense. Just Ebert. He comes to Siskel and Ramon's defense. <laughs> comes found to a cat with whiskers. Cisco who wrote the thong songs defense. I was just going to say. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. Anyway, so before we wrap the show up, if you don't want super spoilers, leave. Get out. Leave now. 
get out of here. No, just go, because the show's over. So, John, what did you find? I just linked it in the Skype chat. But uh, it's a picture of uh, Mr. Petrelli uh, sidling up behind Barbara, who's dressed in a lovely evening dress. Oh, that's not a spoiler. That was in the that was in the trailer. It was. I didn't see yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, but like, I know. We kind of just. But I didn't see that that was Barbara. Oh, okay. <laughs> and now I'm seeing that that's clearly Barbara. I did. Yeah. Well, I did not see that. Look, look at those. Look at those eyes. They fall madly in love. See, I'm right. Uh, there's Look. panic in those eyes. Yeah, that no. Is no, that's sheer. sheer. That's, that's, that is that's sheer. just the way huh. she looks. When was the last time I pooped? It's just her stupid, <laughs> stupid face. It's her stupid, shitty face. There is panic in those eyes. No, there isn't. You don't know panic. It It's either yeah. panic or or lust. She or can't absolutely nothing. With Maybe the... she saw a nice, frothy wine glass. Cleo, are you trying to look leather. down her shirt? <laughs> No, I'm trying to do the face she's making. Oh. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Just javelins. No, you need to you need to not smile. <laughs> you need to I'm not smile. Happy. Put the bitch face on. Resting bitch Resting face. Resting bitch face, girl. Close you enough. It? It's pretty close. So clearly we know it's not gonna be Leslie who's getting targeted. Mm -mm. You know. Do we? It's Barbara. What? Clearly? What if it's both of them? No. That's stupid. He has one dungeon. <laughs> you can't put two <laughs> people in a dungeon. You idiot. That's fucking rude. Look, That's as a man who runs stupid. a dungeon, look. <laughs> as a person who, who who knows these things. You know a lot about, about former, dungeons? <laughs> about former cast members of Heroes. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, I, I, I'm pretty sure this is confirmation. Like, it's Barbara. She's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Just slowly. You, hey, I was can you shrink it down her. and replace Nikki's face with Barbara? <laughs> <laughs> See how that goes over. No. Uh, Nikki, Nikki would hate all of us if we replaced... If we got Barbara on the show instead of Nikki... Whatever, then you you guys what could if we like got four Barbaras on the show instead of the four of us. That'd be nice. We could just bitch about how toxic John? we are. John? Other way. The other side. Oh, I don't want to be seen. I'm done. <laughs> He's ducking the other way. Hi, hey. John. Hey. Dom. There you go. <laughs> Get a so, screenshot of that. Yeah. Hello. That's our hello, show. Hello. 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 <laughs> uh, Nikki, where can the people find you? I thought you were going to leave it up. I was really excited. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at LadyVenom24. L-A-D-Y-V-E-N-O-M 24. Uh, John, where can the people find you? You can find me on Twitter at No More No More or on YouTube doing Let's Plays at Nahajum and H-O-J-M. Mm. Do it! Cleo, where can the people find you? You can find me on the socials at Cleomoto and on Twitch at the Cleomoto. You can find me down below at Phenomenom. P H E N O M E D O M. Phenomenom. Do, do, do. You can also find us underneath Barbara. Mm hmm. Take that as, as you will. She may not have a butt, but she's got some nice boobies. It's only because the dress is accentuating them. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. You can also find us on Facebook, Gmail, G+, Twitter, MySpace, and YouTube. I, I fixed my cough. Ironically. I don't have a cough anymore. <gasps> That's great. Glad you're finally you on found it. Were you, you finally found a lozenge. I did. I did. That really seemed to last all winter. It, it, it was... Oh, wow. That was, was a nasty whooping cough. cough. I, had, I caught a <laughs> whooping cough. Um, she was going... <laughs> <laughs> Until oh, next Boysburg week. Is popular one. Yeah. Until next week. We'll see you guys later. Why is her Dom, what did you do? You are soiling our good work here. Look it. Our angel is on the screen, Nikki. How dare you? Uh, I 
Julius Angel. You can't seen. see where our logo, dude. Yeah. At least like opacity that shit. <laughs> opacity. <laughs> He's I don't know what proper word to use in that context. Transparency? Right. Pass oh, that's that not... shit. Nope. Nope. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Let's, let's, yeah. let's there, just, we go. there, there you is. go. There we go. <laughs> it's like she's living in the TV. <laughs> it's Casper. For the rest of the series, can we have a very faint Barbara in the background of everything? <laughs> Like she's haunting our podcast. She's just like very <laughs> subtly there. Only if she dies. If she okay. dies, then she'll That's remain fair. as a ghost in every episode. Okay. Yes. Perfect. 